Okay, so normal dose for insomnia and for trazodone is generally 50 to 100 milligrams, but sometimes it's as low as 25 and sometimes it's as high as 150. Um, as a medical student, I would say 50 to 100 milligrams is what I see most often and what I see work for people. Um, an important couple points about how to take trazodone, and again, this is not this is not medical advice. Talk to your doctor before doing anything. I'm just going to go over what the literature just suggests on the effects of food and absorption. So, uh, an important pharmacy or pharmacokinetic um, value that's important is Cmax and Tmax. Cmax tells you at what time, or I'm sorry, not at what time, it tells you where the peak is with absorption uh, of any drug, and Tmax is where the peak is, where the peak is highest, like how many minutes or hours passes before you get the peak concentration in your blood. Cmax and Tmax are both affected significantly by food intake. And the reason this is important for trazodone is that if you have sleep maintenance insomnia instead of sleep onset insomnia, uh, at least in theory, it would make more sense to eat this with a, a small fatty snack. Um, when you eat it with a small fatty snack, the Tmax is delayed from one hour to two hours and Cmax increases by 20%. So in plain English, what this means is when you eat it with food, like a fatty snack specifically, um, it will take longer to work and it will be a more powerful effect. So let's say you fall asleep fine, but then you wake up four hours later. Taking trazodone on an empty stomach, you know, it might do its, do its thing uh, within the first couple hours when you don't even have any problem sleeping. But with eating it with a fatty meal, it might delay it enough so that it really starts working when you're prone to uh, waking up.